A massive chemical plant fire is now contained, but with freezing conditions, firefighters still have plenty of work ahead. Last night, massive flames shot into the air, halting traffic on Route 21. Today, parts of that complex are still smoldering as crews remain on scene. CBS 2's Thalia Perez has the latest. Fire officials tell us that these are some of the worst weather conditions for firefighters to deal with. And so far, 18 firemen have suffered minor injuries. Hoses continue to douse the smoldering remains from ladders high above the Majestic Industries warehouse on Passaic Street. Chief Patrick Trentikoff says deep-seated fire trapped under the roof and flooring, along with the single-digit temps, are making it treacherous for firefighters. Everything's starting to ice. I mean, we're, we're losing hydrants. Right behind me, they're working on a hydrant that's frozen. Um, our couplings are all frozen. Flames began shooting out of the warehouse, which manufactures gaming and hospitality furniture for casinos around 8.30 p.m. Friday. The fire reached 11 alarms and quickly spread to Qualco Incorporated, a chlorine plant nearby. Justin Johnson, a security guard, was working at the time and says he was checking the building's water pressure when he noticed smoke. If I maybe like the stack tower right there, I don't know if that caused the fire or not, but I also see smoke coming from there. So I decided to run back to the security office, office, call the fire department and get them down here. The alarm system went off. Officials warned of massive evacuations if the fire spread to the area of the chlorine plant that houses the highest concentration of chemicals. Fortunately, it was under control before that happened. We have the DEP, we have six setups for uh, monitoring the air, and it's been good. The quality of the air has been getting better. Officials say they will continue to monitor and put out those pockets of fire throughout the night. Cranes are expected to come in at some point and assist by moving rubble. This while the cause of the fire is still under investigation. Reporting from Passaic, Thalia Perez, CBS 2 News.